Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Cassandra here, and today I have another exciting video. Um, I was so blessed with trying not to show you my name or my address, but Viola, which is the crystal company that I have worked with before, has sent me this amazing box, and I feel like all of my friends for Christmas are going to be so treated, and also I just think... Oh, first of all, a massive thank you for this box. And I already sent two over one to my sister, which she just went to university. So that was really nice um, for her dorm, which is, I'm, I'm just so excited. As you guys can tell, I have Viola's, um, one of their boxes, which was uh, an amazing gift box. If someone is new to crystals, that would be uh, fantastic. So I have one that's open, which I want to show you guys what's inside. And then I will find the one that's mine, which is... So I'll, I'll tell you guys in a sec what's what. I actually gifted a box to my fiancé. And I was like, well... So I gave one box, which is the Pisces box, to my fiancé. So I'll try to insert a clip or just show you guys later on. Um, and first of all, so they all come in separate little boxes and this is how it comes in. So you open it from uh, this box to a separate box, which is amazing. So it says the Pisces starts in February 19th, ends in March 20th. Um, so I gave one to my fiance and this is what he gets uh, in his. So Pisces constellation stone. So it tells you what stones are associated with your sign. And then we have a stay healthy and happy a little thank you note then you get get everything about viola's um card everywhere where you can find them which i find so helpful because if you want to get another gift or if you want to gift it to someone else great then you get your pisces card so again that's really cute because it gives you like the whole constellation and i actually thought that that would be an amazing like if you did this as a big print and gave like gifted it to someone or if you had like kids or siblings in the house just have each one framed i think maybe it's just me so then we have a every crystal that you're getting in the box it has a little description of what it says so pisces gets amethyst clear quartz tiger's eye laborathi i want to say that's how how you say it kyanite and green fluorite so it tells you a little description about every single one so again they come in another like protective layer which i think is so important because i i have i don't order crystals often online that's one because i have ordered some and they were really cheap plastic two i have had crystals that came in and they were chipped which is annoying so whenever i go i usually get them um like i pick the crystal that kind of calls to me but they come in again in compartments like so and this is amazing. I shouldn't be touching it because they are not for me. But this one is the green fluoride. So it helps the mind to stay awake, deepen thinking, deepen thinking ability, help Pisces solve complex, com complex issues. Jesus, I can't, I can't talk. So this one helps the Pisces with mind to stay awake, deepen their thinking and to solve complex issues. So I think that would be great if you have a desk or if you have like your workspace that'd be great to have on your workspace you have your amethyst that is a healing vibrant like uh vibration and this is so freaking purple it's so pretty i'm i'm so excited so grant is definitely gonna have this on his nightstand i'm probably just gonna put it as it is um or maybe around the candle like i just really like candles and the crystals around it so we have uh labyrinthi i will put the name in here um, it helps Pisces banish fear and insecurity, strengthen faith in the self, which again, that's something where I feel I, for example, really enjoy having a bath with an intention. So I'll put it either around the bath or soak the crystals in the bath, especially around the full moon, which I think, oh, what an amazing gift for anyone. So my sister is Aries, so she got hers. And one of my closest friends from uh, my university, I gave her a box as well because I think she just deserves it. So I have, and she is a Taurus, so I gave her that one. Let me open my box if I can. Do I have anything to open it with? Thank you so much for gifting me this. This is incredible. So this is a box for Cancer. So if you are a Cancer, I'm actually a Cancer 
moon no sorry i'm cancer sun and i am actually cancer rising as well and i am a moon in leo so let me know what your um star sign is down below and if you think that you fit the description so cancer again comes in a super cute box june 21st till july 22nd we have our little card inside so we have uh all of our moods elements again our constellation card which is so cute um, we have our viola card, we have stay happy and healthy, and then we have the breakdown of what I am getting, and I see rose quartz, and it makes me so happy, because it's actually my favorite crystal, um, it's, a first, ooh, it's actually the first crystal I've ever got is a rose quartz, and I find myself always gravitating towards them, so we have green adventuring, rose quartz, labyrinthine, which is the same one the Pisces actually got, because we are both water signs, uh, carnelian, green fluorite, and clear quartz. So we have green adventuring to help us positive stone of uh, prosperity encourages cancer embracing change, growth, and renewal. Again, great to have it by your bed. Great when you're journaling, when you're letting go of things. So for example, if you're doing your writing your intentions where you're letting go of on a full moon, make sure that's like literally leave it overnight on top of that that piece of paper or if you're writing something that you really want to change like this is your goal list put the crystal there so powerful second one we have a uh, rose quartz so love crystal world self-love in cancer loving energy we need this we need some self-love so you're gonna put on a heart um then the next one balances the prospect of the aura rises consciousness grounds spiritual energies that one if you are meditating or when you have anxiety and you just pop it in your hand, put it in the left hand so it is grounding because left hand is the side that you are attracting things right is what you give away. Amazing. I didn't have that one. Cornelian, I think I had it in something. So uh, promotes positive life choices and motivates for success. Great to have on your desk. That's what I will have. That's where I'm going to pop mine. I'm actually going to put, not make an altar, but I do have a cute little mirror candles crystals set up and this is where i do my affirmations but this is going to be under my whiteboard because this is where i do the majority of my work but i also have this so i'm going to set up all my crystals on this because it's so close to my working station then we have green fluoride which is a strong energy it increases cancer's power to concentrate concentration and self-confidence which i should probably swallow this one because Sometimes we struggle with the confidence, um, especially when it comes to like performance um, or believing in ourselves um, that we are capable. I love green. Green is one of my favorite colors. So that might have to go along the side of Cornelian and stay really close to me um, when I journal, for example. And the last one, we have a clear quartz, which it assists us in giving clarity to any situation, which might not be for everyone, but if you are getting, if you're thinking about a problem or you have a, um, maybe an argument or something that you want to talk about, I think like I, for example, fidget a lot. So just having crystal here. And if you believe it, that it's going to help you, I feel it can be so grounding and just feeling the energy that goes through the crystal and just through the sensations of you touching it, I think is so cool. So that is another box. I will be, I am slowly trying to find out what my friends crystals are because i feel so selfish keeping all of those um to myself so another one waiting to be sent off to my best friend but she decided to buy a house which congratulations to her so i'll be probably giving her that one as a new house warming gift which i think is amazing to have crystals for your new space when you're redoing your um your space um, in a way of like maybe you're moving furniture or you moved into another house or maybe you went to university now. Um, great gifts, great for your friends, for your partners. I think it just shows in a very, very different way that you care about them and for what, what's good for them. So I am so thankful for all my gifts. And um, yeah, if I have any clips, I will drop them down below. If not, then follow me and Aviola on their social media because I'm sure I'll be sending those over. I'm so excited and that was an amazing, amazing surprise. So thank you so much to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will leave all of their I will leave all of their links down below and let me know what zodiac sign you are amazing. So let me know 
what your zodiac sign is and we're gonna go from there and check out their links down below i'm so thankful for this i'm so excited and if you guys follow me on my social media you'll probably see them all over my page uh, when it comes to my books and my space so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and until the next time i will talk to you guys soon bye so this is the aries box this is what's inside the aries box um, my favourite has to be the citrine, because look how pretty it is. I mean, the lighting is not great here, so not doing it justice. But a really cute potential necklace, which is true probably for all of them. They all have great potentiality. So, yeah, it's really cute. They're really cute. Now we're opening Aquarius's box and there we go. One thing you have to give it to them, the boxes are so secured. Your, your crystals are going to be in a perfect condition when they come. So Aquarius, January 20th till February 18th. One of my best friends, he is Aquarius and he is a... But we love him. So Aquarius box in Aquarius box. Aviola um, is welcoming us and we have clear quartz, green aventurine, garnet, blue appetite, appetite, rose quartz and amethyst which is so cute. So I've never had blue appetite before. Appetite, appetite. Oh my god this is so pretty. Guys ooh, I'm shaking you. Can we just I wish I had a plain background, but maybe against my jumper. Like, how pretty is that? And this crystal for Aquarius works for stimulating creativity um, and intellect, expands knowledge and truth, eases sorrow, empathy, and anger. So I might actually give this to my best friend because he is he works from home a lot of the time. So on his desk would definitely help him. So green fluoride uh, helps to helps the mind stay awake, deepen thinking ability, helps Aquarius so solve complex issues. So look, you boy, um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna give him this box. Um, I just think it's such a cute gift. He deserves it. So and obviously it comes with the little card. The next box we have, it's a Leo box. And I don't think I actually know anyone who is a Leo. So it's Leo, July 23rd till August 22nd. And my moon is in Leo, so I'm probably going to keep this one. Let's see what we have. Just the packaging is so pretty. Um, so we have our little cards. And we have red jasper, garnet, clear quartz, citrine, tiger's eye, and cornelian, which... I'm pretty sure I have majority, but oh, that carnelian is so pretty. Take a second. So this is our red jasper. That's so cute. So the stone of the endurance uh, absorbs negative energy, aligns Leo's body, mind, and spirit. Great if you meditate. Then we have garnet stabilizes Leo's mood, reduces unnecessary troubles caused by curl carelessness. I feel like the only careless things I do is swipe my card. So maybe I should keep it in my wallet. <laughs> Clear quartz, um, master healer. Then we have citrine, which is on this side. And this is such a pretty, it's very light yellow, which I really like that. And it helps to overcome depression, release anger, and learn effective communication skills. I like, really pretty. And then tiger's eye, that one is... Because they are all rough crystals, that one feels just so smooth, and that one is stun of the mind. helps the, helps give clarity, deep an understanding of self, protects Leo from evil. So great to take with you when you're traveling or when you're going to any events. I would recommend. And the last one is the carnelian, which I do not own. That kind of orange, and it says the stone stone of passion enhances Leo's bold courageous passionate and ambitious nature so they're gonna go down and i will do a little clip later on of all the crystals being down next up we have a box for gemini and that's may 21st till june 20th 
uh, we have our little cards and here we have tiger's eye green fluoride green adventuring citrine labarolite i um i said that i had a problem with this word before so this is our little card and the last one is a blue appetite so let's have a look at the actual crystals oh the blue one is so pretty i think it's even prettier than the other one that we had so this one can we see how bright this is that makes me so happy so it has inter in inspirational properties beneficial in casting sorrows and reducing emotional exhaustion great to have about your bed or when you're working or maybe when you are driving to have it with you so it kind of recharges you oh so pretty uh, the one that i cannot pronounce it helps gemini banish fear and insecurity strengthen faith in itself so might be for gemini but i might have to steal it but i do have a friend that's a gemini so stone of success bright and good luck wealth prosperity for gemini so citrine works a little bit different for gemini than it does for leo but again um it has all of those properties then green adventuring positive stone of prosperity encourages gemini embracing change growth and renewal again such a pretty color then we have green fluoride and that one you can almost see through it oh, so cute helps the mind to stay awake deepen thinking ability helps gemini solve solve complex issues and again we have a tiger's eye which i think two or three boxes had that one and that one just feels polished in comparison to all of the other ones i don't know if they are maybe like found in water or something um brings wealth and luck promoting mental clarity assist gemini to resolve problems so that's for gemini's guys i swear if one of your friends or anyone like that is really into crystals those boxes are so i just think it's so thoughtful that's that's how i see it i wish i could give it to more of my friends to actually open up and and see what's inside but i don't have that many friends so if you guys want to be my crystal friends let me know next box we have is for sagittarius and that's november 22nd till december 21st do I know any Sagittarius's? Sagittarius? Let me have a coffee break. <sighs> so, Sagittarius box. Oh, I moved everything out of the way. That's not cute. Crystals just wanted to touch each other. So, Sagittarius. We have... Lapis lazuli. lazuli? Guys, the camera doesn't do it justice. It's like the brightest blue, like a royal blue. And it says, Stone of, on Stone of Enlightenment promotes Sagittarius aware awareness awakening of all levels. Citrine seems like she is a girl for everyone. So in Sagittarius, it activates imagination, brings more creative visions and clearer mind. Again, workstation. Citrine, take her with you. So the tiger's eye, which again, I swear they have to be in like a water or something because they're very smooth all over the place, promotes wealth and luck. And it also encourages Sagittarius to live bravely in all aspects of life. So again, I think that would be like great for your living room or to take it with you in the car so you have it around you for a lot of the time. Clear quartz, powerful energy source, source absorbs Sagittarius's negative energy, enhances harmony and cooperation, which clear quartz, amazing for everyone, have it everywhere, keep it in your boobies, have it all the time. Um, we've been over this, I cannot pronounce this before, Labradorite, assisted Sagittarius, facing chat changes and challenges protects protects from negativity and this one it's almost like a silver i really like rough crystals i don't know why don't get me wrong the polished ones are so cute to like touch or when you meditate to just like turn around but the other ones actually keep you like oh i never felt that before so this one is black obsidian a luck stone to possess mainly because it may turn bad luck into a good luck so if you're going on a date and you're a Sagittarius, make sure you take Black Obsidian with you because even if it was a bad day, maybe it would turn to another one. Your bad day doesn't show up and you show up 
with your stone and there's a cute bartender or the owner of the restaurant comes around and says, hey, how you doing? And that's what you do. You take your crystal and you say, that was a good date. That was a bad date, but a good result. On to the next. So next one, we have a Libra, September 23rd to October 21st. Let's open her up. We have our usual cards. Oh, I like this. Oh, they are pretty. So the first one we have a rose quartz, which if you guys seen any of my videos, you know that that's my go-to. It's my favorite stone. I have them in my bedroom, my reading room, in my bathroom. I have it in my living room. Favorite, favorite. So for Libra, a it's stone of love, which it is a self-love stone anyways. Attracts to keep and keeps love as well as protects relationships. Blue appetite, it helps absorb ne negative energy of itself and others. So if you have been a little toxic or a little Debbie Downer, it will help you out. Enhances manifestations idea to reality. So keep it on your bed, keep it on your purse, put it on your journal, leave it on your nightstand. And again, that one is almost like a turquoise color, which is so cute. Then we have black obsidian, protective stone, helps Libra against negativity, may stimulate the gift of prophecy. So I don't know how I feel about that, but we know that if you are in a different sign, so for example, if you are a Sagittarius, it will help you with turning bad luck into good luck. So maybe, maybe it can do that for you too. Then we have a citrine, which is optimism, brings more positive outlook and conscious conscious and subconscious mind. So again, super juicy, kind of lemony um, color. And then lapis lazuli, lazuli helps Libra stimulate the desire for knowledge and understanding and the aid of process of learning. So this is so cute. Um, again, rough rock, which I like. And clear quartz, and that is a big ass piece of clear quartz has pure and powerful energy sources, makes Libra feel more awake and active, and it eases mental fatigue. So again, at your desk, in your car, when you're driving, to feel energized, refreshed, but it also helps with cleaning any negative energy around you. So next we have Capricorn, and that's December 22nd till January 19th. And I wanna say my grandma's a Capricorn, um, but I don't know. So let's have a look in here. Oh, I love the card that they have. Capricorn card is actually yellow. And I like this yellow. So we have Targis, Tiger's Eye. We have green fluoride, red jasper, black obsidian, clear quartz, and garnet. So we, I don't think I've seen a garnet before. So Tiger's Eye promotes wealth and luck, encourages Capricorn to live bravely in all aspects of life. That one is really nice because it's quite smooth. Green fluoride. Um, that is starting to be my favorite crystal because the colors are amazing. And that one has a strong energy. It increases Capricorn's power of con concentration and self-confidence. Now, I wish I was a Capricorn. Red Jasper. It's excellent worry stone. Calms the emotional, absorbs negative energy. Useful for Capricorn. Oh, that one has like a little... I really admire that all the crystals, like they always look different. You, you will never get the same two pieces. So it's so cool. Black obsidian, strong protective stone. It helps to shield Capricorn against negativity. Take it with you girls, put it in your bra, boys, put it in your pocket. Clear quartz, help Cap Capricorn to clarify um, of thinking enhanced, improved memory and perception sharpened. So again, Clearing quartz, you want this, is a clear quartz, it helps you clear your negative energy. And then we have garnet, which the colors, it, it's so heavy. For such a tiny one, it's a lot heavier than the other ones. And this one brings Capricorn joy and hope, strengthens courage, hope and trust, help lessen anger. So if you have any anger, anger issues, put it in your pocket. Don't throw at anyone, okay? It might help. It might help with your anger, but you didn't hear from me. So that was our cup of things. So next one, we have a Virgo, August 23rd till September 22nd. So you guys had your birthday not so long ago. Again, yellow card, which I love. Let's open it. Why do they have to have such a complicated freaking names? 
So the first one, we have a citrine. So activates Virgo's imagination, brightens more creative vision to clear a mind. Again, that lemony color, love. Lapis lazuli, again, don't know if that's how you pronounce it, relieves negative thoughts and emotions, encourages honestly and the spirit for Virgo. Oh, a flat tiger's eye, love her. Brings good luck, ideal stone for building courage in all areas of Vir Virgo's life. So if you're a Virgo, get yourself this box. Garnet opens Virgo's heart, increases self-confidence. It's a loyal ge gemstone. Again, so much heavier than any other one. So like, they probably weigh the same, but look at the size difference. <sighs> Green Adventuring encourages Virgo to be more present. Their experience is embracing change and growth. So my Virgos out there, if you are not ready to level up, if your ex is a Virgo, don't give it to him. Clearly, he wasn't ready to step up, okay? Cornelian gives Virgo courage, promotes positive life choices, useful in making decisions. So take it in, meditate. So that one has one layer like this, but then you open it up. I'm guessing it was oh, so cool. Imagine, like, our Earth made this. And I mean, and I used to hunt surprise eggs. You know, like the Kinder surprise eggs. Why wasn't Olivia? Around when I was like four and five. Next one, we have a Scorpio box, and my mom is a Scorpio, so October 23rd till November 22nd. And in our box, Scorpio has a blue card, so the card is I'm guessing it's just like a breakdown of your um of your sign, so it tells you the characteristics, the elements, and everything like that. So, ooh, that's a different mix. So first one, we have a red jasper. So it's a excellent worry stone, calms and emotions, absorb negative energy, useful for Scorpios. Every Scor Scorpio out there, get yourself one of those. Citrine helps with imagination, bring more creative vision to end clear of mind. This is so juicy. I just want to bite into it. It just looks like a jelly. Come on, guys. Then we have black obsidian. Again, can someone tell me where black obsidian comes from? Like, is it in the water found or something? Because they are so sleek grounding so stone to absorb negative energy unburdening and deeply emotional scorpios amethyst is i oh, see i have one that's like a rough edges one i don't oh, no scorpio is getting that one i would love to show you guys how when you're putting it to the light you can see through it amazing that's so pretty uh stone for scorpio it's said to protect from negative energy and psychic attacks Ma'am, she's so cute. And uh, then we have the one that I cannot pronounce, and I want to say is called Labradorite. Is this Scorpio facing challenges, changes, and challenges for protection from negativity? And green fluorite, it has strong energy, increases Scorpio power of concentrations and self confidence. I never met a Scorpio that needed self confidence boost, but it says that it helps you with negative energy, which we know some Scorpios that they are the negative energy. So, guys, please, if you're a Scorpio, get yourself this box because you need it. We need you to have it. And um, 